a techno rave downtown. Rock Time is 20 to 11 hours, and Enos, after playing with the fog machine in the Orbitron, <laughs> has now turned into a candy raver. <laughs> guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is Thursday, September 20th, 12.24 hours, and here's our cock. Check it out. See? I told you it turns clear when it dries. Isn't that great? Now, it's not as perfectly sealed as I'd like it. There's a little tiny pinhole down here where we had like a bubble. So, just to augment it, I'm going to put a tiny piece of Teflon tape over it. Teflon tape is some truly wonderful stuff. And the cool thing about Teflon tape is that Teflon tape is designed to seal the threads and brass fittings. So, if I have a little extra, it's not going to hurt anything at all because it's actually intended to go in here in the first place. So we're just going to put that right over the front, like that. Now, like I said yesterday, it worked great for like... 10 minutes and I went down and got you and it's like hey it works and then it came back up and it was raining so <sighs> Big thing is experimentation to work out what compound they use to seal it because they did the well, exact same thing. Well, it's they have they had like plastic and then a rubber sealer. Yeah. Yeah, they had like a fiberglass. It's got to be something that moves though. But yeah, it was a little plastic puck, and then like a sealant. Okay. Well, then worst but case. But the we'll plastic puck was kind of wrecked when the holes. Do you have the, the puck? Sun. No, because it was chewed up by uh, someone who was attacking everything with a pick. I didn't pull a puck out though. No, you were the whole. It wasn't like a solid puck. It was a little thin plastic. Oh, that piece. membrane. Shit? Yeah, it was, okay. it was a little bit of membrane, plastic kind of thing going for it. Now I can't find it. All right. Well, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try uh, Teflon tape on the inside, like three layers of it. And then. Goop. And then goop, and then another layer of Teflon tape. Oh. Hang on, it's freaking out. It says touch subject inside border to focus. Touched me. Ah. <laughs> ah, it worked. Okay, Focus. we're back. All right. all right, we good? 1305 hours. We have it all together now with some hot glue fun. Graco, you guys built a real quality product here. Um, all right, so we've got yeah. hack number two mm -hmm. on this. Um, are you ready? Okay, we're we're down, so we're only in prime. There's no pressure. Okay, just leave it. Just leave it there. No, let's see. Let's see where it's not it. turning on. That means you got to adjust. This. Oh, okay. It's at the lowest. Thing. Yeah. Okay. And it did now, this yesterday. Yeah. About... Now. No. All right. What we're watching for is any leaking from here. Which would be pretty easy to spot because it'll start pumping and it won't stop. So the system's working like it should. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've been here before, and then it starts leaking out of the bottom here. And I'm going to leave. This is what I did yesterday. I just sat and held it, then I went and found you. When I came okay. back up, it was leaking. So we'll, we'll just sit, let it sit under pressure for a few minutes because you'll do that while you're painting. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we'll just let it sit under pressure, and if it holds, we have a working hack. <laughs> <laughs> and if it holds, I'll finish assembling it, and you can paint while Moose and I go get some. You know, if this board dies, what we have to do, right? Hmm, make another one. No. no. Arduino. <laughs> <laughs> It is. Oh, we can. Parts we can. We can but make the that board in a couple fry. hours. All right. Yeah. The board's fine. Everything's cool. This whole thing. All right. Time is thirteen oh seven hours. Pressure is on the system. We'll be back. Time is thirteen twenty hours. Batman. Mm. We got a bit of a two face thing happening here with the paint sprayer. We <laughs> you like that, don't you? <laughs> I was just experimenting with different cleaning phases, so then when we're absolutely 100% done, I know what I can do, it'll work really well. Uh -huh. What'd you use? 
It was a Scotch Bright pad and some Windex. Oh, okay. After I tried, I tried like a regular nylon brush that didn't work so well, and then I did the Scotch Bright. The Scotch Bright worked really well. I'm almost done. I'm waiting patiently. Yeah. Strip out these little plastic holes. So many times do you think we've had this apart? <laughs> Probably 20, 30 times by now. A lot. Viewers at home, comment in with the correct number and you can, uh, <laughs> you can um, good for you. Anyway. Enough times that he no longer needs the manual. Yeah. You need the manual once. All right, time is 13.36 hours. Batman has it put together again. Now, why did we take it apart again? Because I had a nick when I was putting it together. Oh, knocked all right. It out of place. All right, so I got my tunes. I got my sexy, sexy painter outfit with my Tom's Feed Mill baseball hat. And uh, I'm going to paint a room now. So there's, uh, there's before. Okay. Time's 13.37 hours. And let's do this. That was fun, and uh, you can see, it's white now. Time is 13.47 hours. It failed again spectacularly, and <coughs> I gotta get out of here where I can breathe. Um, when it failed, the pressure on the pump went through the roof right now, and you can definitely tell when it happened. So, instead, if you let go of the trigger, the pressure built up in the pump and it wouldn't shut off. So I just said, screw it, ground down on the trigger, full blast, and just went nonstop. So there's probably a few runs in a room, but it's the tiniest room in a building. It's a step up of a broom closet, so nobody's going to care. So yeah, it broke right after Batman left, so I got the room done. Now I got to do the ceiling. That'll suck. So we'll be back. Time is 16.36 hours. I'm back in street clothes, which is so nice. And I want to thank um, YouTube user Cray from Poland, who sent us our latest drive. We are actually Poland. We're Poland. Cool. Yeah. Even though we make fun of the Polish, they still love us. I make fun of Polish Americans. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't actually. He's the only actual Polish person I know. I know a lot of Polish Americans. And yeah. wow, is that right for comedy? Yep. All right. Thank you, sir. And thank you to everybody who is helping out on the drives. It's quite awesome. We're actually, like, they're, they're back in production. We have, we have terabytes of storage. And it, it sounds like a lot, but understand, we can... Okay, do the math. I'm going to shoot just on today's captain's blog. And the captain's blogs don't go on those drives. I do this on my computer upstairs. I'm going to shoot between 12 and 30 gigabytes of video today, just, you know, talking to my hand. And so it adds up. When we're doing like a big production shoot, we'll have two cameras out on the set, one camera wandering, um, sometimes it's up on the frame, and then the overhead camera, and each of those is rolling for like three hours, two hours, it varies. So it, we can, 100 gigs in a day, nothing. That's easy. Okay, so you do 10, get, 10 days, that's a terabyte. So it adds up fast. And that's just the raw footage. Then you got the project files, and then you got the finished rendered file, and all that. So, what do you got going on, sir? Oh, my eyes are irritating me. Um, can't stop crying. <laughs> it's the pain. <laughs> it's the I pain of being just that cool. Yeah, it's kind of a pit in here. Yeah, and I've been trying to do that, clean it for like weeks, but. I do everything right here, so. Well, yeah. And you're doing heating later on today. Mm -hmm. We might get to go on heating adventures with Batman. I'm looking for a crusty old goat who is wandering around here. Ah, hang on, I see old people. Yeah. There he is. Hi. Hi. Tell, tell them who you are and what you do. I'm Catherine Joel. Okay. I'm, I'm here as a civilian. <laughs> Not for long. You'll be a member by the time you leave. I know a lot more about nursing than I know about... Hardcore technological science. You gonna tell him who that old goat is behind you? That is Matthew Deming. It is. 
Yes. Matthew Deming, Geek Group founding board member, Matthew Deming. Okay. Who, who has never been to this lab because no. he doesn't really like me that much. So he shows up like every 10 years. It's, uh, it's owner a owner of a trebuchet and a Faraday cage and a Tesla coil in his backyard. And a hardcore badass physics geek. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that is the great and wonderful Matthew Deming, geek group board member, who none of you have ever seen before, but you'll see a lot more of him this weekend. We're doing, we have a board meeting this weekend where for the first time in like a decade, all of the board members are in the same physical place at the same time. So there's a lot of, a lot of video, a lot of pictures. You, you, you brought a nice shirt, right? Yeah. Okay. Then, and a jacket. And a jacket. Oh, well, hey. All and right. We're, God. Matt Deming in a tie. Dart boards will be available starting in about three weeks till we get them out of production. <laughs> you guys have fun. We'll be pay back. Pay attention for a moment here because the whole world needs to know this. On you. We can't understand Does it? Oh, I'm Please. sure nobody can hear me on the live stream. Actually, no, I can't hear you. All right. All right. No. This. Here. I'll fucking not fall down the steps. <laughs> I, I would catch you probably. Nah. <laughs> I, I would squish you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for serious. On your shoulder and everything? No, the, the camera's about to totally freak out. Yeah? So yeah? I totally will not break the only yes, working exactly. camera. Alright. <laughs> this is a camera, like, professional, big fuck-off lens that is covered in shit. Alright. <laughs> Stop breaking the dust! I need it! It's, it's a high screen. Yes, it's not working on the live screen right now. Alright, now, watch, watch this. See the big box on the side of the lens right no. here? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, this that's beautiful. is the macro unit. When you flip the little switch uh -huh. down, uh -huh. two things happen. One, it super zooms in for macro mode, and two, it gets really fucking dim. Okay. This little switch belongs at the X1 setting, unless you're like super zooming in on Bill's nose hair or something. If it's down, uh -huh. the image is dark. Okay. I keep finding this on all the cameras around here, and people bitch at me about the live. I, I want to watch a live no stream, but it's already it's the always dark. Except you, apparently. Now we can't put it around. Yeah. 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 You can't. It, it's a fucking bayonet mount. You're a big I bet you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in your ability to cross thread it. I got ten out of ten on my quiz. <laughs> <laughs> you were taking the Myers Briggs. What what quiz was that? How many points you just gave? Oh, I I stopped looking. Now it looks like the whole thing to James Bond with the little dot float curve. Does it work now? Well, why don't you look in the? Yeah. Doesn't this flip around to the front so you can? No, not really. No, not really. No, it doesn't even work. All right, all right. Well, did you disconnect well, the cable thing? Might need. To. Yeah, I did. Thank you, Bill. See, Bill's my real friend. He's not like the others. I, you far overstate the, the oh. nature of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, little bastard. <laughs> I can feel the love, so right. nervous needs to leave. Alright. Whose head is that? Yes, yeah, yeah, yours. yours. <laughs> I haven't been there in half an hour. <laughs> it takes about half an hour for it to catch up. I say the, the, the other team. It was like three ball. seconds last time. Well, you know, it changes because of some really bad reasons. <laughs> because our internet connection sucks. <laughs> or what the fuck are you doing with that? What am I doing with what? what is my <laughs> okay, my there's the, the first step. Because the computer sucks. Right. So, Not yeah. yet, but we're getting there. So it'll take like a half an hour for Chris to set up this 30 second bit. Because it's, because the computer processes about the rate of a snail. So. <laughs> All right, now watch. It's just going to tunnel. In. Oh fuck! It'll step in a one, two, two in. three, right. four. Yeah, it'll just keep stepping into the thing. It's really cool. And I was doing was the shit with like my hand. I was doing it. like counting. Yeah, there was a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you giving up on it, or did you already set it up? I'm just going to let it stabilize. Okay. And then I'll fuck with it. Because we need trippy music, too. We should have, like... Do you have the trippy music? Uh, oh, yeah. We have, like... I don't know. Circus. If we need trippy music... Quick, get oh, the figure on you! You know how you're a serious freak for the MS3... MST3K? Yeah, 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 that's that. MST3K. I have... I have an idea for a show you need to do. 
Okay. You, Batman, Todd, the whole gang. I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the elephants! Okay, they're in town. Oh, the, the circus trains in town. Circuses in town. Yeah, it was like a half a dozen elephants and like a dozen tigers. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be good. The cops were almost, you know, the bigger. The, I'm just part happy of the, the circus is in town. That means I make a couple phone calls and I got Christmas presents this year. So. Cool. Elephant dung? Yeah. You you go to Meyer, you get a, a <laughs> crate of uh, mace uh, 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 And when you march the elephants out, you just scoop up elephant poop. And if you do that after they walk by, they just look at you funny. <laughs> we're all going to find midgets. Christmas is coming. <laughs> Everybody's getting a mason jar full of elephant shit. Yep. <laughs> Wanted something that really expressed how I felt about you. Did you guys see my bitch about the elephant downtown, the art prize elephant? No, no. There's it right oh, next to the yeah, bob. Yeah. Behind the bob, there's an elephant, like a sculpture of an elephant. Yeah. And I, I went to the outside. art prize opening party with Moose, and I kept walking around telling people, Look! Look at the fucking elephant! It's wrong! Science is wrong! Because the elephant... So, okay, if you're going to build a big fiberglass elephant... I guess it's life-size. It's a big African elephant. Okay. Okay. And if I get fuck it, yeah, it's it's an African elephant as opposed to an Indian elephant. Right. They're different. Fuck you, I know shit. I'm just shit. What's different about them? The ears. And general <clears throat> size. <throat> but <laughs> I, the big thing is ears and where they live. Yeah. <laughs> some speak Hindi and some, some speak Kiswahili. Yeah. So that's the difference between African it's, elephants and Indians. It's all the reincarnation. Bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. But one, the elephant. One clicks and one. Built this giant fiberglass elephant, gave it a nut sack. Okay. <laughs> they don't have don't them. have scrotums, they have internal testicles. That sounds they have like a good idea. Prehensile right? penis, That's but they have no nut sack. Oh, it's they're they're I mean, in, they're up. You would be like the ovaries. Person to know that. <laughs> You can tell us about cats. You come down here with man. like comments about like apes, <laughs> penises, or barbs. He talks about being the same. Now you're gonna tell me about man. elephant yeah. balls. I I I, yeah. I can talk about pussy all night too if you want that. If you really want to bring your into it. I'm alright with that. I'd like to learn about feline cats. I'm comfortable. But it's I'm not proud or tired. I'll talk about this shit all night long. Oh, I, I I get that. It's elephant just, dick? That's just cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do the elephant dick? No, the elephant just had no scrub. dick, just had well, a nice that's what the balls were supposed to be. Nope. Nice. Wrong spot. <laughs> maybe it was this supposed was like to be way back. This was like Maybe it was supposed to be an elephant vagina. Maybe no, they, they just couldn't higher. they just couldn't form it well maybe enough. It <laughs> Twenty-one thirty-one hours and I've been tinkering with the big lightwave F one hundred um, performance fog generator that we got donated and I got it working thanks to some help from Doug. He told me what to look for inside it, and I went through it with a, with a meter. It didn't take very long to find the parts that were broken, replace the parts, and this appears to work pretty good. You gotta get down in the juice. I think we're having trouble getting it to prime. Hmm. Oh, no. Come on. Suck it! Suck it! It won't suck the juice. I'm trying to get it to prime the pump. Having some issues here. We need happy color. It's trying like hell to prime the pump, but not quite getting there. I'm watching it bubble move. Okay. All right, we'll be back when I can figure it out. Why do we build awesome? It's not because we like showing off, though we do. And it's not because when science says, here's how the world works, we answer, great, now watch us bend it to our fucking will, though we definitely do that. No, we build awesome because we want to share the exhilaration we feel when we prove nature wrong. When we make something that shouldn't happen, or that can't happen, or that can happen, but not whenever we please happen, goddammit. 
We want to spread the ability to take what the world gives you and turn it into something unexpected. We want to get people who would ordinarily be just bored or disinterested in math, science, and engineering to feel that spark. And we'll use irresponsibly loud noises and automaton-made handcrafts and musical fire and death rays and tiny stars and giant Newton's cradles and lightning machines and motherfucking robots to do it, because we can! You might not have the resources we do, but you can still get the people in your life excited about science. You want a tangible, recognizable, and it's worth mentioning easy to transport example of how humans can dictate the way our world works? Done. Solved. Shrunken coins. For instance, we take a U.S. quarter dollar, coil copper wire around it, load it into our High Energy Physics Laboratory's impulse generator, and for just an instant, dump frankly insane current through that coil, producing such powerful magnetic fields that the quarter compresses in on itself, to the size of a dime, yet retains all of its surface features. And it comes in an educational packet explaining the science behind it. Not that you'll need that, since you'll want to carry that thunderbolt in your pocket. Available at thegeekgroup.org, now for only $10. Someone want to hit the lights? Now we need more lasers. Do we have any laser pointers? Where's the light switch? Well, without lasers, it's kind of moot to kill the lights. Oh. I just want to see what the cloud does. That's really cool. I thought you were going to try and fill the room. I will. I just want to see how this moves. There you go. That works. <laughs> Got this uh, I should have brought my own power to the side down. That's my side. Yeah, there's <laughs> All right, we gotta let it recharge thermally. Did it get too hot? Yeah, it's gotta. I know it uses up all the heat stored in the block, and that's gotta recharge the heat in the block. So we've got a few of these that we can uh, yeah. play with here. Yeah. One. This one. This one doesn't work. It needs attention. And we're going to need a lot more frog juice. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how these things work. Huh? Yeah. I'm not quite sure how these things work. Um, what? It's pretty simple, yet? actually. Works um, like an e-cig, I'm assuming? It works or? like an e-cig. There's... This gets sucked in through a pump right down here. You can see the pump. And it goes through a heating unit here. And it's just an electric heating unit. And that's really all there is to it. It's a pump and a heater. The rest is all brains to control the other two. Okay. High quality fog juice. This is like high end serious smoke machines. Those are toys. That's like the low end, this is the high end. That's yeah, we had one of the black ones there at the house one time for, yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, these, they got about thousands of these at Cedar Point. Oh, God, yes. Here we go. Hey, we got a laser. You're going to find a place to plug it in. Or I had an outlet splitter out here, but I don't see it now. Go steal the four, go steal the four away from the machine shop? Yeah. Sorry, Moose. <laughs> oh, the lights? Uh, I can turn the lights off. Let's let him get set up first. Helium neon gas laser. Old school. Red? Of course. This. Now we need Four two speakers. This is about the same as current laser pointers. Yeah. No, we, we need to get some big. That'll do. Well. That'll work. Go ahead and. There. If you're down for solving a serious electronics puzzle, I have a hell of a laser light show downstairs. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, I'll turn out the lights. Hey. Yeah, don't don't shoot the camera.
Uh, the beams probably look better if you're looking back into yeah. the beam. True. You don't see much from this side. Go out on the other end. You can see it right there. Yeah, but that's just right up close. Yeah. Our laser is so weedly and the smoke is so thick, you can't put the beam through it. Yeah. Can you see the full beam? Oh yeah, right here. We need a couple speakers to bounce that off from. Yeah. Hey, seizure mode. Look how fast it totally blacks out the beam. And the other one. Wow. I've had homemade flamethrowers that look kind of like how this looks on the camera right now, on your little screen. Well, the fog machine works. Yep. <laughs> I, I count that as successful, Todd. Cool. All right, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. And that's today's Captain's Blog. See you tomorrow. I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning. Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek. Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.